I'm sure many of you never imagined that a New Hampshire state quarter could fetch $159, but it's true. This 2000p quarter recently sold at Heritage Auction due to its impeccable preservation and striking quality, earning it an MS68 grade from PCGS. The 2000p New Hampshire State Quarter is part of the 50 State Quarters Program, a series by the United States Mint to honor each state. Its design features the Old Man of the Mountain, a natural rock formation that resembled a man's face, symbolizing the state's rugged beauty and history. An MS68 grade means the coin is nearly perfect, with only minor imperfections visible under magnification. Collectors highly covet coins like these for their exceptional quality and rarity. If you happen to have a quarter in such pristine condition, be sure to keep it safe as a solid investment for the future. Absolutely incredible. This stunningly toned, uncirculated 1950 Washington quarter fetched an astounding $11,400 at Heritage Auctions on May 9th, 2024. This particular coin is the finest known specimen at PCGS, graded as Mint State 68. NGC, on the other hand, lists only two examples in this prestigious grade. 1950 was marked by economic recession, and although mintages began to recover toward the end of the year, the number of quarter dollars coined at the Philadelphia Mint was sufficient to make this issue quite common in circulation for the next 15 plus years, until it was withdrawn along with all other silver pieces. While gems up to MS67 are relatively plentiful, anything graded higher is considered scarce to rare. This MS68 gem exhibits a bold strike and vibrant mint luster. Its pristine surfaces showcase lovely golden amber and mint green border toning uh, with champagne interiors, making it a truly exceptional and sought after piece for collectors. Mint errors occur when a coin is struck incorrectly by the minting machinery, resulting in deviations from the standard design or planchette blank metal disc placement, in the case of this quarter, due to the misalignment of the coin during the striking process. This particular 1996 P quarter was struck 10% off-center towards 12 o'clock. Off-center errors like this can vary in value depending on the degree of the off-center strike, the visibility of the error, and the overall condition of the coin. Collectors are often interested in mint errors because they are unusual and can add a unique element to a collection. This error quarter dollar was graded at Mint State 66 by NGC and ended up selling for $180 at Heritage Auctions, showcasing the value that collectors place on such intriguing mint errors. The Philadelphia Mint struck more quarter dollars in 1944 than it had in any year before. It would not again achieve such a high mintage until the production of 1964 dated quarters was extended through 1965. Consequently, the 1944 Washington quarter is a very common issue across all grades, with abundance up to MS 67. Similar to the years prior, there are numerous double die varieties, primarily affecting the obverse. Notably, the obverse master hub was replaced starting with the 1944 issue. This change is most evident in the sharpened letters JS and in the date, with the last three numerals being taller than on previous issues. This MS67 Plus graded superb gem was recently sold for $528 at Heritage Auctions, highlighting the continued interest and value collectors place on high-grade examples of this historically significant coin. Attention, collectors. If you're holding on to a U.S. quarter dollar dated 1937, you might be sitting on a gold mine. This particular variety, the 1937 Washington Quarter with a double die obverse, is currently fetching huge premiums and is highly sought after by collectors. This prominent variety, as listed in the guidebook, displays dramatic die doubling to the Northwest on the motto, In God We Trust. Additionally, the date is also doubled in a clockwise direction. The current MS64 coin is near the condition census of attributed examples, making it a prime specimen for collectors. Imagine owning a piece with light ice blue and olive gold toning, gracing lustrous and unmarked near gem surfaces, all complementing a sharp strike throughout. It's no wonder why this variety is causing such a stir among numismatists. This superb gem was sold on May 9th, 2024 for an impressive $5,040 at Heritage Auctions. 
It's a testament to the value and desirability of this rare and highly sought after variety among collectors. Proof sales soared about 40% over those of 1941, indicating a rising interest in numismatics. However, this upward trend was abruptly halted by the onset of World War II. Consequently, 1942 marked the last year of proof coinage until 1950. Despite the war's impact, the Philadelphia Mint still coined around 28,000 proof quarters, with 21,000 offered for sale to collectors. An additional 123 were recorded but reserved for assay purposes and later destroyed. The 1942 proof quarters were generally well made, but issues arose due to overpolished dies, leading to some coins having poor or missing details, especially among the design features with the lowest relief. While gems up to PF67 are relatively abundant, examples grading higher are exceedingly rare. It took the mint nine obverse and seven reverse dies to create this issue, emphasizing the complexity of the minting process. This PR68 specimen is a testament to the quality of the 1942 proof quarters, displaying mirrored fields and a fully struck design. The obverse features light golden toning with hints of peripheral blue-green, amber, and violet, adding to its visual appeal and desirability among collectors. This exceptional coin was sold for $3,000 on May 9, 2024, highlighting its value and rarity in the numismatic market. Incredible find. This 1965 Washington quarter, despite its incomplete date, fetched a staggering $3,840 at auction. But why the excitement over a damaged coin? Well, this quarter is technically a mint error coin, and here's why it's so special. This particular coin was damaged during the minting process, but in a unique way. Uh, it was struck on a planchette meant for a nickel, not a quarter. When a quarter is struck on a nickel planchette, it usually results in a smaller, thinner coin due to the size difference between the two planchettes. Additionally, the nickel planchette lacks the reeded edge that quarters typically have. These mint error coins are highly sought after by collectors due to their rarity and unusual nature. While the incomplete date on your coin may affect its value somewhat, the overall rarity of 1965 SMS Washington quarters struck on nickel planchettes means that it is still considered valuable and prized by error coin collectors. In conclusion, these rare U.S. Washington quarters are not just pocket change. They are valuable treasures that can fetch thousands of dollars. Each coin has its unique story and value. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, keep an eye out for these elusive treasures in your pocket change, coin shops, and auctions. Who knows, you might just stumble upon a coin worth big money. If you enjoyed learning about these rare Washington quarters, please consider liking this video, leaving a comment below with your thoughts or questions, and subscribing to our channel for more numismatic content. Your support helps us continue to create informative and engaging videos. Thanks for watching and happy collecting.